Match 30 sees England up against Panama. So a couple of changes for the England 11. Pickford in goal, Walker, Bertrand, Smalling, Henderson, Lingard, Ali, Dier, Kane, Welbeck and Vardy. As for Panama, they will start like this. Calderon, Torres, Beloy, Davis, Gomez, Quintero, Godoy, Vasinas, Cooper, Torres and Perez. As we get the game underway, match number 30. And England will be in their traditional white jerseys, blue shorts. Panama in what I think is the traditional jerseys of all red. So England open up with a cheeky free in, throw, throw in. Pressure is now on them to get a result after Belgium picked up a win against Tunisia, which pretty much eliminated. Well, it hasn't done so just yet, but a point. Uh, a point in the, if this game was to end in a draw, Tunisia would be out. We'll talk more about the, the permutations a little bit later on. But let's get, get going and talk about this match here. It will take place on the... Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I am shocked and stunned. Panama have taken an early lead 40 seconds into the game. This could be another choke fest by England. It happened against Iceland. It's happened before many, many times. Panama have the noses in front. Perez with the goal. Completely stopped me in my words. So England have it all to do now as they look to try and secure qualification. Uh, it's not all doom and gloom, but it does make it a bit of a struggle. And we'll talk more about again. We'll talk more about the permutations in a second. England versus Panama and the real world will take place on the 24th of June. It will be at the Nizhny Novograd Stadium, and that is in where is it, people? Nizhny Novograd. That's right, somewhere in in big bad boy Russia. England now looking for an equaliser. These two sides have never met before in world football history, so this is the first and only time that they have ever met. Panama also in their debut World Cup. England, obviously. Regulars. And that's a foul. Not been the great start to this match for England. And this will be actually England's 15th World Cup. They were they were involved, obviously, in, in Brazil 2014, but it was it was another piss poor performance. They didn't even get out of the group stages. In fact, it was a group dominated by Uruguay and Costa Rica. Costa Rica upsetting the odds then. Can Panama upset the odds here? So far, they're doing a number on England. But England still have time. Space. That's a shot. It's parried. It's a good defending by Panama, but maybe they'll get another chance here. England now building. Punted in there. Panama clean up house. Can they get control of this? Yes, they can. Goalkeepers down to the ground. But like I said, Costa Rica upset the odds uh, in Brazil. Panama could be the same same sort of team. They're from the same sort of region, so they, they might play the same sort of football. Uh, a lot of a lot of question marks on the Panama side. You know, uh, they, they go under the radar a little bit, kind of, you know, they play a lot of football in Central America. And that is a flipping... Lucky break there for England, obviously. Pickford in goal as well. So Hart is like going to be pushing at the door, giving Southgate what for, saying, why did you not start me? But anyway, still a lot of football to be played. In our simulated world, England opened up with a 2-0 victory over Tunisia. Panama lost 1-0 to Belgium. In the other match in this group, in this sort of round of fixtures, Belgium one one nil against tunisia so they pretty much uh guaranteed themselves qualification belgium i'm just trying to think is there a way uh that they can uh yeah there is technically a way that they've they could be knocked out with with two wins if um panama win here and then england beat belgium and then panama beat tunisia then Belgium could technically not qualify. So, still all to play for. But, yeah, this would go down as one of the shocks of the tournament. No question uh, about it. So, as we crawl towards the four-minute mark, which is halfway, if you're new to the channel and new to the setup, we do play two four-minute halves. 
England really, really struggling at the moment. Cannot get any decent uh, attempts on the target as Panama look to uh, sit on this 1 0 lead. They'll have to park the bus for a whole half of football as the, we've reached the four minute mark. And that's your lot. England 0, Panama 1. So, second half will get underway. England really need to find something now. An equaliser would be a start, but that's you know just a just just a start they do need to you would expect them to win this um in win this game so i think panama will be will be licking their lips at uh, a prospect of coming away with a point but right now they're coming away with all three a second goal though for panama would wrap it up and, and they're not afraid this is typical england sort of uh world cup business just they just can't do it they can't they, they switch off for one moment and uh, and they can't get themselves out of it is it the hoodoo of, of the Premier League you know I've, I've been dabbling around in, in, in football manager recently I've noticed the the players values in English football is ridiculous compared to that of, of the Bundesliga of the Dutch football league I know the, the standard of the Dutch in the Premier League is, is different but Bundesliga you could say it's comparable to that of of uh, of the Premier League and the values of the players in England even in the championship is bonkers absolutely bonkers they don't get it look at this Panama really putting England under the cosh um, so maybe just maybe England just just are just so full of themselves a little bit thinking they're they're greater than thou when it comes to uh, international football um, I don't I don't know how they can fix it I just don't know how they can fix it I think this team is a lot better than the you know the old golden generations of England when they had Beckham Owen and uh, Shearer all that kind of stuff I think this the team feels more like a team but take Harry Kane out of it and maybe maybe Deli Alley and you're, you're scrambling for world-class players Pickford's a good goalkeeper but he ain't world-class as for defender Stones is, is decent but he ain't world-class um, whereas you look at Belgium and they've got some world-class players De Bruyne they've got uh, who's else uh, Eden Hazard you know, and uh, Lukaku's good, he's not world-class. Uh, Benteke's good, but he's not world-class. Look at that. All the real efforts coming from Panama. England look look bruised and battered at the moment. If they, let's just say it pans out here and Panama come away with, with, the, with the win, which will be a, a shocking event on its own, England will have to do a number on Belgium. They'll have to do a number. They cannot afford to lose uh, two but wait maybe just maybe there is a, a sting in the tail here for Panama maybe maybe England can find something in this last minute and something but right now it doesn't look like it it's kept in play bit of a bit of a mad dash scramble can England get on it this is looks too close for comfort straight down the keeper's throat so less than a minute to hang on for Panama Again, this will upset the turbulence in Group G, a, a, a group that consists of Belgium, Tunisia, and these two teams, Panama and England. Tunisia looking like they were on their way out of the tournament. Have a glimmer of hope now. They would need to beat Panama and hope for Belgium to beat England. As for England, their hopes, uh, they will... They're not out of it yet either. Anyway, let's just let's just talk about this corner. We have a corner here for England. Can they score from it? Dead ball situation. Uh, retro style, 95 edition. Let's get it in there. Flow it in there. Who's going to take a shot? It's mad dash coming in the box. And it's right down. And it looks like Panama are going to hang on here for at least a point. But it looks like it's going to be all three at the moment. England. I've done it again. Embarrassed themselves on the world stage. Panama taking away all three points. We're into time added on. Panama with the throw. It's going to blow up right here, right now. And that could, it could have been worse there. It could have been a big for OG. 
as it's dealt with. Panama shocked the world football 1-0 over England. So let's take a look at the statistics. Look at that. Panama has six shots compared to England's five. Panama keeper very, very busy keeping them at bay. And here is a reminder of the score as Perez on 40 seconds. That's unbelievable. And as for the discipline, nobody made it into the yellow cards or red cards. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.